Today in Crypto Uniswap's growth lead, Ashley Shapp, has slammed Yearn Finance founder Andre Krohn's for complaining about forked projects in the DeFi sector. Uniswap growth lead Ashley Shapp has slammed a recent article from Yearn Finance founder Krohn's that criticized forked protocols in the DeFi space, with Shapp describing Yearn's recent merger with SushiSwap as validating a stolen dApp. Krohn's Gen.12 blog post, Building in DeFi Sucks complained about the risk of competitors forking his code, and combining such with attractive tokenomics in a bid to siphon away users from the products that he has invested significant time into building. He wrote, This is exactly what happened when SushiSwap was forked from Uniswap in late August 2020, with the new project launching a native token and yield farming program to successfully leach more than $1 billion worth of liquidity away from Uniswap in early December 2020. Yearn Finance merged with SushiSwap, drawing the ire of the Uniswap community. As such, the apparent hypocrisy of Kronja's comments was not lost on Uniswap's growth lead, who tweeted. Shep also took aim at Kronja's comments in which he described the notion of community within the crypto sector as bullshit which featured alongside the claim that governance and community kill innovation. 6 slash completely disagree that community is bullshit. Uniswap community and users evangelized Uniswap into the biggest dApp on Ethereum long before there was a token. The community incentive of needing decentralized liquidity was enough. The thread sparked a debate among the crypto community with Hasu calling it a rare look behind the curtain at Uniswap headquarters that revealed the outfit considers SushiSwap to be a stolen dApp that should be socially shunned. FTX founder Sam Bankman fried who was handed control of SushiSwap for a short time last year, defended the cloned protocol. Uniswap was able to reclaim its position as the leading DEX by value locked after SushiSwap's first liquidity vampire attack in August by instituting its own native token and liquidity farming rewards. However, after UNI rewards ended in November, SushiSwap reclaimed its billion-dollar TVL by offering yield incentives for the same pairings that Uniswap had previously incentivized. In December, Yearn Finance announced a merger with SushiSwap in an effort to expand its ecosystem and pool development expertise. In total, Yearn absorbed seven prominent DeFi protocols late last year, including SushiSwap, Deriswap, Cream Finance, Cover Protocol, Acropolis, Bounce Finance, and Pico Finance. The top 100 richest Bitcoin addresses are increasingly bullish, accumulating 16% more Bitcoin over the last 30 days. In total these addresses added 334,000 more Bitcoin to their bags, or around $11 billion worth. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. On January 12 Bitcoin, BTC price rebounded slightly as the price attempted to re-enter the $37,000 range but at the time of writing increased selling is pushing the price back toward the $32,000 mark. While the bearish price action may have shaken out newer investors who are unfamiliar with Bitcoin's whipsaw volatility, the recent 28% drop doesn't even mic it on the list of the top 5 worst BTC pullbacks in history. In fact, Today's 20% rebound marks one of Bitcoin's largest one-day rebounds ever. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Litecoin was trading at $130,588 by 023-523 GMT on the Investing.com index on Wednesday, down 10. 40% on the day. It was the largest one-day percentage loss since January 11. The move downwards pushed Litecoin's market cap down to $8,788 billion, or 0.97% of the total cryptocurrency market cap. At its highest, Litecoin's market cap was $14,099 billion. Litecoin had traded in a range of $126,005 to $136,878 in the previous 24 hours. Over the past seven days, Litecoin has seen a drop in value, as it lost 16. 94%. The volume of Litecoin traded in the 24 hours to time of writing was $11,145 billion or 7, 21% of the total volume of all cryptocurrencies. It has traded in a range of $112,8969 to $185,6710 in the past 7 days. At its current price, Litecoin is still down 68 
91% from its all-time high of $420,00 set on December 12, 2017. Elsewhere in cryptocurrency trading, Bitcoin was last at $33,156.50 on the Investing.com index, down 6. 40% on the day. Ethereum was trading at $1,021.31 on the investing.com index, a loss of 10, 46%. Bitcoin's market cap was last at $622,822 billion or 68, 43% of the total cryptocurrency market cap, while Ethereum's market cap totaled $117,875 billion or 12. 95% of the total cryptocurrency market value. Litecoin was trading at $130,361 by 024,524 GMT, on the Investing.com index on Wednesday, down 10, 59% on the day. It was the largest one day percentage loss since January 11. The move downwards pushed Litecoin's market cap down to $8,788 billion or 0.97% of the total cryptocurrency market cap. At its highest, Litecoin's market cap was $14,099 billion. Litecoin had traded in a range of $126,005 to $136,878 in the previous 24 hours. Over the past seven days, Litecoin has seen a drop in value, as it lost 16. 94%. The volume of Litecoin traded in the 24 hours to time of writing was $11,145 billion or 7, 21% of the total volume of all cryptocurrencies. It has traded in a range of $112,8969 to $185,6710 in the past 7 days. At its current price, Litecoin is still down 68 96% from its all-time high of $420,00 set on December 12, 2017. Elsewhere in cryptocurrency trading, Bitcoin was last at $33,107.70 on the Investing.com index, down 6, 56% on the day. Ethereum was trading at $1,019.59 on the Investing.com index, a loss of 10. 64%. Bitcoin's market cap was last at $622,822 billion or 68, 43% of the total cryptocurrency market cap, while Ethereum's market cap totaled $117,875 billion or 12, 95% of the total cryptocurrency market value. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.